Hi there, it's Kristen from MDO. Do you remember me? I've missed you guys. I've missed seeing your faces. And so today we're going to do a Bible lesson and we're going to start like we always start our Bible class with Pat the Bible. So see if you can find a Bible in your house. Go grab one real quick and let's sing Pat the Bible together. Remember, we're gentle with the Pat the Bible. Let's try to keep a steady beat together. Are you ready? Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, the Bible is God's Word. Maybe have your mom or your dad pat along. You ready? Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, Pat, Pat, Pat the Bible, the Bible is God's Word. What about your brother and sister? Maybe they could help you. You ready? Pat, pat, pat the Bible, pat, pat, pat the Bible, pat, pat, pat the Bible, the Bible is God's Word. Okay, now let's sing the song that we always sing at the very beginning as well. Read your Bible, pray every day. Are you ready? Get down. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow. Grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. Good job. Hi guys, we're going to tell the story about Paul and Silas in prison. They were out telling people about Jesus and some people got really upset with them. They didn't want them spreading the word of Jesus and so they, they beat them up. They weren't very kind and they put them in prison and they didn't even do anything wrong. And that would, that would make you kind of sad, wouldn't it? And so Paul and Silas were put in prison, but instead of being really sad about it, they sing praises to God, and God gave them joy in the midst of a really scary place and a really scary time. So here we have Paul and Silas. They've been put in prison, but instead of being sad, they were singing praises like, I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Or maybe they were singing songs about rejoicing, like our memory verse. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And then guess what happened next? As they were singing praises, there was a giant earthquake. Oh no! And all of a sudden, the doors swung open and they were able to get out. And the prison guard, they shared Jesus with the prison guard and he came to follow him too. And it was a happy ending. The end. Remember this month we talked about joy and how God gives us joy even when things don't go our way or when something sad happens. So maybe you guys have been at home and you haven't been able to go and see your friends or come to MDO and it makes you sad. It makes me sad, but we can actually pray to God and he will help fill us with joy. So just like this balloon, it looks kind of sad, doesn't it? But when we pray and we ask God to give us joy in the midst of whatever circumstance, he begins to fill us with joy. Are you ready to see? Here we go. Whoa. All right, let's keep going. Bigger. Even bigger. It's really fading now, but there's a smile on there because God fills us with joy. Even when we're sad, we just need to pray. We just pray. We say, God, 
give us joy even when I feel sad. Let's tie it off. And you know, the most fun part about blowing up a balloon is getting to do what? Play with it. So maybe if I can get it together. There we go. So see if you can ask your mom or your dad if they have a balloon. Maybe you can fill it up, tie it off like this, and be filled with joy 